today's class, we are doing a revision, all right, on our 2D shapes, guys. And to start that revision, first, we're going to go over our types of triangles. Okay, so we're doing geometry of 2D shapes, and the first kind of 2D shapes that you need to know about in grade 7 is triangles. All right, so 2D shapes are our flat shapes, okay, flat shapes, all right, and first of all, we're starting with triangles. So remember that triangles are any shapes that have three sides and three angles. So when we're looking at triangles, three sides, three angles angles okay so let's start by looking at filling in these missing words all right to complete the definitions so have a look at those missing words and i'm going to be looking for some help for you guys for tonight so have a look at those first for me okay maybe you want to take a screenshot so you've got them saved all right have a look at those missing words for me, and I'm going to be looking for some help tonight. Okay, I'm going to give you one minute to go take a read through them, and then I'm going to be looking for some help. Right. So, if you've got some answers for me, you are raising your hand and we are getting going. So, I'm going to start with um, Imo. Kiyama? Imo? I think I've said that right. Hi. Hi, Mom. How are you? I'm good in your head. Good. Will you say your name for me properly one more time? I know you've said it for me properly before, but will you say it for me so I can learn it properly? Kamaketu. Okay. Right. Which question are you doing with me? 1A. Yes, ma'am. All right. So, a triangle with three equal sides and three equal angles is called what? What kind of triangles has three equal sides and three equal angles? With my equilateral triangle. Oh, amazing. Well done. On fire tonight. All right. Now, guys, I have to remind you again that I'm a math teacher. So my spelling is not the greatest, but we're going to try. Okay. All right. So we're going to try. If you know how to spell equilateral triangle properly, maybe send me a message in the chat so then I can see how to spell it properly. Because, oh, ma'am, spelling, not the greatest. All right. Who's going to spell it for me? Who's going to send me the spelling and a message in the chat? Oh, thank you. Ntumbiko, thank you guys. So, so many of you sending me the correct spelling. Thank you guys. Equilateral. Lateral. Triangle. Well done. Thank you so much. All right. So, B, a triangle with two equal sides and two equal angles is called a... Let's go with Lachey. Hi, Lachey. Hi, ma'am. Am I saying your name correctly? Is it Lachey, hey? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Lachey, yes, what kind of triangle an... has two equal sides and two equal angles? It's an isosceles triangle. Well done. All right. Let's see if I get the spelling right. I think I can spell this one. I saw the Lees. Is that right? Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. C. A triangle with one 90 degree angle is called a something angle triangle. Mulalo. Hi, Mulalo. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Fine, and you, ma'am. I'm good. Mulalo, what's C called? What kind of triangle is that called? It's a right angle triangle. Well done. Thanks, Mulalo. I'm glad your sound is working again. That's cool. All right. A triangle with no equal sides and no equal angles is called a what? It's called a what? Let's go with Bushle. Hi, Bushle. 
Hi, man. How are you? It's called a... Um, Hi, man. Good. It's called a scaling. Well done. Scaling. Scaling. I think I can spell that one as well. That one's not too bad. A scaling triangle. Oh, somebody's telling me I missed an S in the isosceles triangle. Oh, yes, I did. I spelled isosceles wrong. Thanks, Bushley. All right, guys, you know how to spell isosceles. My spelling is so bad, but well done. Okay. All right. Well done, everybody. Okay, we're going to lower everybody's hands so that we're ready for the next question. Okay. So, well done, everybody. You got your triangles. You know what all the different names are. If you're not sure, okay, if you're not sure and you're not sure about um, what all the different um, uh, definitions are, then this is the perfect, perfect opportunity for you to take a screenshot, all right, and for you to have those definitions there for you, okay? So this is a really, really good opportunity for you to have all those definitions. So I'm going to go and fix the spelling here so that your definitions are beautiful. So people are telling me I'm missing. And now my pen is going flat. Okay, there we go. My sausages. All right. Okay, let's go have a look at the next section. Hopefully you've got a nice screenshot of that. So you've got the notes nicely. We're going to look at the next question. So, next question says, identify each triangle by its angles and its sides. But for me, I don't see enough information on these drawings. So I'm going to go and I'm going to add some more information on these drawings for you guys. I'm going to go add the following information. I'm going to go tell you that there is a little line missing here and a little line missing here and a little line missing there. Okay. I'm going to tell you that there is a little line missing here. And I'm going to tell you that there is a line missing there and lines missing there. All right, let's have a look. Omar, hi Omar. Hello, ma'am. All right, Omar, triangle ABC. What triangle is that one? Um, an equilateral triangle. Nice, Umar. Thank you. Equilateral. Equilateral triangle. Thanks, Umar. No problem. All right. So, Umar is completely right. It is an equilateral triangle. When all those little lines on there are drawn on there, it means that all the sides are equal. So, Umar is absolutely right. Those little dashes, those little lines, mean that the sides are all equal. All right, I'm looking for somebody to help me with DEF. So let's go, Azande. Hi, Azande. Hi, ma'am. Azande, talk to me about triangle DEF. What do you think DEF is? It's a right angled triangle. Nice, Azande. Well done. It's a right angled triangle. So DEF is a right angled triangle. Well done. Thanks so much, Azande. When that little square is there, that little square means that there's a 90 degree angle, which makes it a right angle triangle. And finally, I've got triangle JHK. I've got triangle JHK, and I'm going to go with Katlejo. Hi, Katlejo. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Good, and you? I'm good, thank you. Right, talk to me about this triangle. What kind of triangle is this? I think it is an isosceles triangle. Well done. It's an isosceles triangle. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. She is absolutely correct. It is an isosceles triangle. Those two little dashes, those two little dashes mean that the sides are equal. Well done, guys. All right. There wasn't enough information before. So before the triangles were so plain, you couldn't really see what was happening. So there wasn't enough information. Let's keep going. So they've given me a little bit more now. They've given me some more information here. All right, so some more triangles. In the first one, I've got the following. 
I've got nothing on that first drawing. On the second drawing, I've got the following. All right, and on the third drawing, I have the following. Okay, all right. I'm gonna go with Melo. Melo, I'm looking for triangle LMN. Hi, Melo. Hi, Melo. All right, Melo, I'm really sorry, but I don't think your sound maybe is working. We can't hear you. So I'm going to move to um, Christian. Hi, Christian. Hi, Christian. Christian, you unmuted. Hi, Christian. Can you hear us? Oh, no, Christian's gone. Okay, I'm going to move to Lungawa. Hi, Lungawa. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine and you, ma'am. I'm good, thank you. Lungawa, talk to me about triangle LMN. What kind of triangle is it? It's a, a right angle triangle. LMN, are you sure? Is there any little square there telling us that it's a right angle? No, ma'am. Ooh, careful. So if there's nothing there and it's not telling us anything, what kind of triangle is that? A scalene triangle. Scalene. Well done. So this is a scalene. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Be very careful, guys. If there's no markings on the triangle, even if you think it looks like something, be careful. All right. It's not always that. Okay. All right. I'm looking for somebody to help me with OPQ. So I'm looking for somebody to help me with OPQ. I'm going to go with Lungile. Hi, Lungile. Hi, Lungile. You... Hi, Lungile. Hi, ma'am. Talk to me, Lungile. OPQ. What kind of triangle is that? And I think it's an isosceles triangle. Well done. It's an isosceles triangle because there's two angles that are equal. And so these two sides will also be equal. Hey, well done. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Okay. Let us go and have a look at our next person. So our next triangle is triangle RST. So I'm looking at triangle RST. Asonge, I see thee there with your hand up and your hand up. <laughs> so Asonge, talk to me. RST. Hi. Ma'am, it's ma'am. Hi, ma'am. It's a equilateral triangle. Well done. It's an equilateral because all the angles are equal. Okay? Equal. Well done. Ma'am, awesome. I got oh. confused with L and M, ma'am. It looked like an isosceles triangle, ma'am. I agree with you, L, M, N. It does look like one. However, there's no markings. So if they had done this for L, M, N, I'm going to get my, my magic pen quickly. If they'd done this for L, M, N, okay? If they'd shown us this and they'd drawn lines on, then it would be an isosceles triangle. But does it have any lines on it? No, ma'am. No. So it doesn't have any lines on it. Or if they had done this, if they had said that this angle and this angle were equal, then it would be an isosceles triangle. Okay. But because mm -hmm. it doesn't have any markings on it, that means that it's not equal. All right. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, yes, no problem. Cool. All right, guys. Don't stress if I haven't answered your question yet or you haven't been able to answer a question. There's still more stuff coming. Okay, so let's have a look. It says, use the triangles above to answer the questions that follow. Okay, so the first one says, A, name two triangles that have exactly two equal sides. So name two triangles 
that have exactly two equal sides. So, who is helping me out here? Let's go, Jabulile. I haven't heard from you yet. Hi, Jabulile. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm good, and you, ma'am? I'm good, thanks. Right, Jabulile, help me out here. What are two triangles that have exactly the same sides? Can you name two for me? It's an isosceles and equilateral. Good. And from the drawings above, can you name two triangles or these triangles that have exactly no. two equal sides? Um, I think it's still isosceles and equilateral. Good. So do you agree? It would probably be this triangle here, triangle J H K, because that one has two equal sides. And yes. triangle O P Q. Because that yes. triangle also has two equal sides. Hey? Make sense? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank Jamilile. Okay. In the next one it says, in each case, which two sides are equal? So in each of those two cases that we've just done, those two triangles, which of those two sides are equal? Okay, which of those two sides are equal? All right, Lungawa, I see you got your hand up and your hand up. So let's go, Lungawa. Hi, Lungawa. Hi, ma'am. Talk to me first about triangle JHK. In triangle JHK, which two sides are equal? Um, K and H. Okay, so we're going to say J, H, because that's the one side, hey, is going to be oh. equal to? J, K. Well done. Thanks, Lungawa. So that's the one. I'm going to go to somebody else. Thanks, Lungawa. All right, I'm going to go to Seifel. I hope that's how I say your name. Is that right, Seifel? Uh, it's Seifula. Seifula. Okay, Seifula. Yeah. Let's have a look in the other triangle, which is OPQ. So this triangle over here, the blue one, what's the sides that are equal? What are they called? Mm. I'll name the one for you. It's going to be side OP is going to be equal to, so this side OP is equal to, what's the other side called? PQ. Well done, PQ. Thank you so much, Sefula. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Now it says, name a triangle that contains a 90 degree angle. So, who's helping me out here with this one? Name a triangle that contains a 90 degree angle. Let's go to Jenna. Hi, Jenna. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm finding you, ma'am. Good. Right, Jenna, name the triangle for me that has the 90 degree angle. I would say it's DFE. D Can I say DEF? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So, number D, it says, which two sides form the 90 degrees angle in triangle DEF? So which two sides are going to form that 90 degree angle? Which two sides? Which two sides form the 90 degree angle? Oh, I'm looking for someone I haven't spoken to yet. Let's go with Mateo. Hi, Mateo. Morning, afternoon, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, ma'am. I think, ma'am, side D and F and F and E. Good. So side D, F, good. And? F and E, ma'am. F, E. Well done. Thank you so much. You got this. Well done. All right. E, name a triangle with three sides of different lengths. Okay. Mulalo, are you helping me out here? Yes, ma'am. Hi, Mulalo. Help me out, Mulalo. Name a triangle with three sides of different lengths. Which one's that going to be? It's a scalene tri triangle, which is L, M, N. Good, triangle L, M, N. And while you're here, Mulalo, let's answer the last one together. Name two triangles that have all angles equal. Uh, it's A, B, C, and S, R, T. Good, triangle ABC and 
and SFC. Well done. Thanks so much, Mulalo. All right, guys. So that now brings us to the end of our triangle revision. So again, a really good idea. All right. If you haven't already got these notes written down somewhere, there they all are on the page for you. Take a nice screenshot so that you've got them. Okay. Make sure you've got them written down. All right. There is the complete triangle notes for you. So we've got all our triangle notes done and completed. All right. We've now finished revising our triangles. Okay. Make sure that you've got them, you know exactly what you're doing with triangles, all right? Um, and make sure that there's no questions. Does anyone have any questions on triangles before we move on to quadrilaterals? Any questions? Okay, Jabulile. Hi, Hi Jabulile, what's your question? Hi. Ma'am, on the isosceles triangle, when you indicate the angles, is it a must to add that line on top of it, the angle? It isn't. It's just I have a habit of doing that because if you just put the little arch there, that little, um, so those little things like that, sometimes it can get quite confusing for people. So I always put that little line, but it's not a must, no. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. You're welcome, Jabalile. All right. Let's go to Kiemo. Hi, ma'am. Hi. What's your question? Ma'am, on triangle DEF. Uh huh. Ma'am, isn't it supposed to be a right angle scaling triangle? That's a very good question. It can be a right angle scaling question. Yes, you can make it a right angle scaling question. Well done. That's a very nice observation. So you can say that it's a right angle scaling triangle. Well done. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you All right. I'm going to take one more question. I'm going to go Shakina. Hi, Shakina. Hi, ma'am. What's your question tonight? So, ma'am, I wanted to ask if um, for these triangles, do the lines um, have to be there um, if you're drawing them? Like, can you tell by, can you tell by the um, how do I put this? So can you tell, you tell if the can you tell if this triangle is scaling or isosceles or equilateral if the lines are there or can you just tell by the sides? Just by sight. So it's very difficult to just tell by sight because if you're telling just by sight, there's no proof. You know what I mean? One way that you can tell by sight, I'm going to show you a way that you can tell by sight, is if the triangle mm -hmm. looks like this. Okay, so if they had given you a triangle, all right, um, and they drew it, all right, let me see if my pen will let me do this. Okay, so one way that you can tell by sight kind of thing is if they say this to you, if they say that this is triangle A, B, C, and this side is two centimeters, and this side is six centimeters, and this side is four centimeters. And so now they've given you the measurements. So now can you tell by sight what kind of triangle this is? Uh, yes, ma'am. All the sides are different. So what kind of triangle is this? It's a scaling triangle. Okay. But, and then if they gave you a different triangle and they did it like this, all right, and they told you that this was three centimeters and this was three centimeters and this was three centimeters, then you would know that this triangle is an? Equilateral. Lateral. So that's kind of like how you would see it by sight, or you would use your ruler and you would measure the sides. Does that make sense? But yes, doing it by just looking at it is quite difficult without them giving you enough information. Mm -hmm. All right. Does that make sense, Shakina? So if you, yes, were like, if you were like in like grade four, five, or six, then yeah, you could do it by sight kind of thing. But now that you're like mm -hmm. in grade seven, eight, nine, they need to give you more information. Okay. Okay. Nice question though. Well done. Cool. Thank you, ma'am. All right, guys, we're going to move on. 
Okay, if I do have time at the end of the lesson, I will take some more questions. Okay, so we're going to move on to our next section. All right, and our next section for tonight for 2D shapes that we're going to be revising is on types of quadrilaterals. So we're going to be looking at types of quadrilaterals now. So we've looked at our types of triangles. We looked at all the different types of triangles that we have. Okay, we named the types of triangles. All right. We went into quite a bit of detail into our worksheets. We've made sure that we've had screenshots of that. We've taken all of it and we've looked at some questions. And now we're going to have a look at types of quadrilaterals. So the first thing I want you guys to have a look at, all right, is I want you to have a look at this section over here. Now, while you're having a look at that, and I'm going to give you guys two minutes to just read through them, what I want you guys to draw your attention to Okay, and especially for those people who may be new to Watobi, is I want to remind you about the fact that all the Watobi lessons are recorded and they're put on YouTube and they're on Watobi's site. So when we did this lesson the first time about 2D shapes and we went through types of quadrilaterals, we went in quite a bit of detail, okay, and we made some beautiful, beautiful notes, all right. So we made some really nice notes on quadrilaterals. Okay, so before we go and we answer this question, what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you guys where you can actually find that lesson, all right? So I'm going to show you where you can find that lesson on YouTube very quickly, because there might be some new people to our class who are not sure where to find that on YouTube. So Mr. Hugo has put the link there for you guys. He's so good at doing that and always providing you guys with the link. I'm going to show you very quickly in a tutorial while we're having a bit of a break. You can have a stretch as well. So you're going to go to Google or if you've got the YouTube app on your phone, you can click on the app as well. But we're going to go to YouTube. OK, once you get to YouTube, you're going to go to the search bar and you're going to go to Watobi. You can also go straight using Mr. Hugo's really, really um, valuable link that he sent you, and you can click straight on that, and that will also take you straight there. Now that we're in this section, you'll see that there is the Watobi flame. So that Watobi flame, we're going to click on. All right, and that takes us to the Watobi channel. All right, a very, very valuable place for us to be. We're going to go to playlists okay and under the playlists we're going to go and we're going to search for grade seven so we're going to move down and there are our grade seven lessons okay that's going to take us to an advert we don't want an advert all right so if we're looking at our grade seven lessons here's one that mr hugo did so let's go see mr hugo All right, so here was Mr. Hugo doing the introduction of 2D shapes to you guys. I'm just going to skip through very quickly. All right, so there are all the lesson guys available to you. All right, of all the different lessons we've done this term. You'll be able to find them here. They're all um, available to you. Okay. They have, just trying to see if I can find, there we go. See if we can find the one that we did on this beautiful lesson where we made so many nice notes. Mr. Hugo, can you remember that lesson? It was such a nice lesson. I can remember. I'm also trying to remember the date. I'm not sure right now. Okay, but guys, go through, go see if you can find all the different lessons, but they are all there and they're all available to you. Let's see if it's this one. Types of quadrilaterals, there we go. So I'm going to share this link for you specifically in your chat tonight, because this was the link that we did on quadrilaterals as well. Okay, all right, so you can go back. You can have a look at this entire lesson and you can watch the whole lesson. All right, grade sevens. So I hope that that has helped you out. 
especially if you weren't sure where to find the videos. I know Mr. Hugo and I tell you guys every week, but I hope that you are using those videos to help you in your revision. Okay, so let us go and continue. All right, guys. So fill in the missing words to complete the definitions. Who is helping me out here? Oh, Unati, I haven't seen you all night. Unati, are you helping me out here? Let's see. Hi, Unati. Hi, ma'am. Long time no okay. see. Okay. I know, Unati. I haven't seen you in days. Right. Yeah. Unati, a quadrilateral is a shape with how many sides, Unati? Four equal sides. Well done, Unati. A quadrilateral is a shape with four sides. Unati, stay on with me because you're going to answer the next one. A quadrilateral that has four equal sides and four equal angles. So it's a quadrilateral, so it has four sides. Okay. But it's telling me that it has four equal sides and four equal angles. So it's like that. Uh, four equal sides. Two, two, two and four equal angles. What shape is that, Unati? <sighs> it's the one you learn first when you're in primary school. It's the first one you learn. Oh, square. Well done. It's a square. Thanks, Unati. No problem. Boys, draw it. Draw it on your page. Well done. Okay, guys. A quadrilateral, which has four equal sides, okay, and two pairs of equal angles. So, a quadrilateral, it has four equal sides, guys, so four equal sides, and then only two pairs of equal angles. So, think about that kind of quadrilateral that they're talking about. All right, four equal sides, and then two pairs of equal angles. So not all the angles equal, but two pairs of the angles are equal. All right, Emmanuel, do you know which kind of quadrilateral is talking about? Uh, it's a rhombus. Well done, it's a rhombus. That one's a hard one, so well done. It's the bullied square, hey? Well done, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, stay with me, because I'm going to ask you for the next one. Are you ready? Okay, Emmanuel, a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite sides are parallel and two pairs of equal angles. Emmanuel, do you know what that one is? Oh, I think Emmanuel got muted by accident. So let's go to Latabo. Hi, Latabo. Hi, Latabo, you unmuted. Table. Okay, I miss the table. All right, L Lungawa, I see you. You you hands up and your hands up. Lungawa, what's D? Hi, ma'am. Hi. D. Yes, what's D? Two pairs of opposite sides parallel and two pairs of equal angles. What's that one? Um, a rectangle. A rectangle. So it could be a rectangle. I agree with you. But do you agree that a rectangle, all the opposite, all the angles are going to be equal here in a rectangle because they're all 90 degrees. So that one, it could be a rectangle, I agree. Okay, but what about this one? What about a parallelogram? Well done, parallelogram. Okay, stay with me because you're going to answer the next one for me. Okay, a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite sides parallel and four right angles. It's a rectangle, miss. That one's a rectangle. Well done. Can you see the difference? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Okay, can you see you needed a little bit more information for rectangle, okay? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Thanks, Mangala. All right. And the last one, okay, a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite sides parallel and no equal angles. So two pairs of opposite sides parallel and no equal angles, guys. No equal angles. Let's go to, um, every time I try to pick someone, they put their hand down. Let's go Tando. Hi, Tando. Tando. 
You can unmute yourself. Hi, Tando. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Good. Tando, can you tell me what's the last one? Two pairs of opposite sides parallel and no equal angles. What's that one called? Ma'am, I think it's a kite. A kite, okay. It could be a kite, but in a kite, there's no parallel sides. What about if I draw it for you? I'm going to draw it, okay. So it's kind of like this shape. Let me see if I can find it, if I've got one here. Na, 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 na. Looks like this. What's that trapezium. shape? Trapezium. Well done. It's the hard one. Trapezium. Well done. Trapezium. Thanks, Tando. All right, guys. So let's keep it going. It says, look at the diagram below and answer the questions that, that follow. If possible, name a side that is equal to CD. All right, name a side that's equal to CD. All right, Christian, let's see if I can do it without muting you again this time. Christian. Hi, Christian. Christian. Hello. Hi, Christian. How are you? Hello, can you hear me? I'm, I'm good in you. Now. I'm good, thanks. Christian. What side is equal to CD? Yes, ma'am. Name a side equal to CD. It's, um, ma'am, it's H and J. Well done. It's HG. Thank you so much. Oh. It is H. You're welcome, ma'am. G. Thank you so much, Christian. So nice to hear your voice. All right. Let's go to, else have I got here? Let's go to Tandile. Hi, Tandile. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Itandile, let's have a look at the next one. So, Itandile. Okay. Yes, ma'am. If possible, name a side that's equal to CE. Is there a side that's equal to the whole of CE? Yes. Which side's equal to CE? Tell me. It's HGF. HGF. Now, are you sure? Are you sure, sure? Because I'm just going to show you quickly. I know that CD is equal to HG. Yes. I know that that's true, okay? But have yes. they told me that CE is equal to HF? No. Ah, be careful. Can you see how sometimes they like to give me these tricky questions? Yes. So, if possible, can we name a side equal to CE? No. no. So we're going to say here, no side equal to CE. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes that's fine. You can say that in the question. You can say that there's no side equal. All right. Makes sense? Yes, ma'am. Okay, cool. All right, let's have a look at the next one. If possible, name up to two sides. Okay, if possible, name up to two sides that are equal to CH. So there is CH, all right? And if possible, name two sides that are equal to CH. All right, let's go Jabulile. Hi, Hi Jabulile. How are you? I'm good, ma'am. Good. Jabulile, talk to me. CH. What two sides are equal to CH? Ma'am, it's D, G, and E, F. Well done. C, G, and E, F. Well done. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Okay. If possible, name a side that is parallel. Okay, name a side that is parallel to DG. So here is DG. And I'm looking for a side that is parallel to DG. Okay, parallel to DG. So, Latabo? Hi, Latabo. Hello, ma'am. Is it possible? Is there a side parallel to DG? I think so, ma'am. 
Okay, talk to me. Which side do you think is pos is parallel? E F. E F. Okay, so I'm gonna go highlight it. E F. Okay. Now remember what lines mean parallel. What what does it mean if something's parallel? What what do they show you? They normally give you these, hey? So they normally look like this. Do you agree? Or like it yes, looks like this, like these. So does DG have any arrows on it? Only oh, has one. It doesn't have any. Have a look there. Does it have any arrows? No, it doesn't. It has no. a line. It has a line. Can you see how they're trying to trick you again? Can you see? They're trying yes, to trick you. All right. It doesn't have any arrows. It has a line. So can there be any sides that are parallel to DG? No. No. Okay. So if possible, name a side. So we're going to say no sides parallel to D. They're trying to trick you. Can you see? Yes, ma'am. Don't let them trick you. All right. Okay, guys, let's keep going. If possible, if possible, Nate, oh, yeah. If possible, all right, if possible, name a side parallel to C H. If possible, Name a side parallel to C H. All right, let's go, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm good, and you, ma'am? Good, thanks. Right, Chloe, talk to me. Is there a side that's parallel to C H? No, ma'am. No, good, because it doesn't have any arrows, hey? Mm -hmm. So no sides parallel to C H. H. Well done, Chloe. You didn't let them trick you. Thank you. All right. If possible, okay, if possible, name a side parallel to EF. If possible, name a side parallel to EF. If possible, name a side parallel to EF. Mark. Ma'am, there are no sides parallel to EF. Well done. There are no sides parallel to EF. Why not, Umar? Oh, um, ma'am, because there's no arrow. Good. There's no arrows. Well done, Umar. All right. Well done, Umar. All right. What type of quadrilateral? So what type of quadrilateral is CDGF? So C, D, G, H. What type of quadrilateral is that? What type of quadrilateral is that? I'm going to go for somebody who I haven't heard from all night. I haven't heard from uh, in Tubby. Oh, yeah, there we go. No. No. Uh, where did you go in Tubby? Oh, he disappeared from my screen. Okay, I had in Tubby here, but you have disappeared from my screen. Okay, so I'm going to try to see if I've got anyone else whose hand is up who I haven't spoken to tonight. Uh, let's go to Tender. Hi, to Tender. Hi, hi, ma'am. Hello. Hi. Um, right, to Tender, talk to me. What type of quadrilateral is CDGH? See, I think it is um, a rhombus. A rhombus? Okay, it could be a rhombus if all the sides were all equal, but be careful, the opposite sides are equal, and so it's going to be a parallelogram. Well done. Yeah. All right, guys. Well done, Tatenda. Okay, so guys, that takes us to the end of our lesson tonight.